Welcome to Cabo Properties YouTube channel. Okay, so Jimmy Carter, tell the people, say, subscribe to this channel now. Okay. Tell them. Okay. Welcome to Egypt. Yeah, and tell them to subscribe. Say, subscribe now. I need Jimmy Carter in now, now here. Yeah, no, you tell the people. In say, everybody watching, subscribe to this channel right now. Say that. What is this? Say, subscribe. So subscribe? Yes, subscribe. 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 Subscribe? Yes. Yeah. To the channel. So right now. Yes, say oh. that. You tell them, say, subscribe. Subscribe. So, so the channel the channel right now right now yeah say that in arabic say that in arabic tell them to follow me say follow this channel now yeah i mean jimmy carter yeah stay here nine pyramid yes kushe cabo hello this is cabo properties youtube channel my name is showers i'm just on my way to egypt yeah i'm going to hogada let's see how it goes i'm at that week right now that week south that week south i'm heading all right, let's go. There you go, at the airport. Just been dropped off. Okay, South Terminal. That way, see that? There you go. Just... There we go. Um, so that's Leon. First stop is Leon Gate. 12 Leon So that was a long wait in the queues for passports, checks. But I've, I've managed to do mine now. I'm heading for the next flight. Checked, passed, done, boom. Let's go. So I'm in big trouble right now. My flight, because I was delayed down there. So right now, because I, when I get to France, I had to literally come out of the airport. You had to exit, come back upstairs, find the, the, the terminal to do check-in. I've got to go through security again before heading to the flight. And my flight should leave here at 9.50. And now it's about 9.17. The flight should actually take off at 9.50. So I don't have enough time. I hope I do not miss my plane. It's crazy. Let's see what happens. See there? Lots of people in there for security. This is mad. I don't even know the gate yet where I'm gonna to get to. Huh. This is crazy. I hope I don't miss this. You see, there's a bunch of people there. Jeez, man. All right, let me start getting stuff out because this is gonna be a check in again. Guys, I've been running. So I'm sweating big time because I've been running. Like I said, I think I'm gonna miss the flight, guys. Because long security, long immigration checks, and now I'm stuck here with another long immigration checks. And the flight is meant to leave in about seven minutes. That's mad. See all that? Massive immigration checks, guys. Long, and the flight is meant to leave literally five minutes. So guys, we managed to make it into the plane. Finally, we made it into the flight. 
that was madness. That was mental. But we made it in. I'm in here. Yep. <laughs> that was crazy. Right. So we're gonna head now, finally, to Egypt. Out of after that long, 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 long wait. The funny thing is, with the airport, but the way the flight to set up is that I had to come off the plane. We all came out when we landed in Lyon. Literally get out of the airport, then back into the airport, go through security again, which was long. Obviously, immigration was very long. Then security, very, very long. I had to run, I ran, and then we got to the other bit. And that was a massive security. So I don't know why, <coughs> excuse me, that was a massive, that was a massive um, immigration queue. I don't know why they had a massive immigration queue at the gates. It was mental. So anyway, I had to push through. Eventually, basically I got through some of the queue, made some noise, get some people's attention, and eventually, <coughs> and eventually got myself, uh, somebody who works for the company, yes, I don't know, for the flight company, spoke to them then they said oh okay if you come here and anyway, anyway they gave me basically vip treatment so luckily the flight was still here because obviously they were waiting for me <laughs> they were waiting for me no not just for me actually there were there's a few more people that had the same issue like me so they had to wait for us so they understood that there was some immigration long queues etc so that's why anyway so i'm in the flight and we're gonna head so Thank you. 
between these huge mountains, man. It reminds me of Freetown. So I have to buy this motor and the flight. Three euros for this. Three euros, you know. The small bottle, you know. I had a bigger bottle, which I bought in, in Gatwick. I bought that at Gatwick. But because I was rushing for um, this security, immigration, etc., etc., here, and I still have some water in it, so I had to drop it, uh, of course, through the security. I was thirsty because I've been sweating. I've been running in the plane now. I asked for water, they said you have to buy one. Three flipping euros, this one here. Martin. Anyway, anyways, let's go still, let's enjoy the ride. <coughs> so bad of it. My G is still studying in the flight. Can't believe it. Now I'm doing maths. Two plus two is five. Nine plus three is math quick, math math. Know that one? Know that one there, that big, um, what's his name? Big shot. Two plus two is four. Minus one, that's three, quick maths. My guy, he's going on holiday. He's still trying to get his grades up. Big him up anyway, big up to him. Big up my G. Doing some work while he's going on holiday. That's some serious dedication right there. Man has to get them grades up, pass all those tests, pass all those exams. My days, man, it's weak. Over the desert. We've been traveling over the desert for more than an hour now. It's huge, you know.
28 degrees here in Egypt. 28 degrees, guys. So I'm excited. Now I don't know where to go. It's all closed. Oh, there we go. Maybe this is where I need to go. I'm heading now to immigration, I guess. There's a card here, immigration card that I need to fill. The man gave me like four or something like that. I'm like, listen, I, I came by myself. Don't give me four. <laughs> well, yeah, we've landed. My ears are blocked in here because it's, it's you know, the usual flight thing. But we are cool. We're ready to rumble, guys. It's quiet. There's a lot more people in front of me, actually. There's more people down there. Landed in Hongada. Hongada. So let's see. Now I need to fill up my form and then I'll be alright. Passport control over there. So I need to fill up this form. Here we go. So I just came to the place where I mean to get my um, basically out here to get to immigration. And I go to the counter, there's some guy standing there. They called me over to say to help me to, to get my visa. And then I went over and I started asking them if that's the immigration person. Hey, they will not answer me. They will say, passport please, your passport please. And I gave them my passport. And the guy says, you got British pounds. I said, yes. He says, 25 pounds. So I said, hold on. The visa is $25. And he said, oh, go over there if you want to pay $25, go over there. So he sent me here. I'm in the queue now somewhere. Yeah. Here, yeah, $25. And it says that there's a big sign there that says $25 as well. And they just announced it on the tenor to say it's $25. So I don't know why those guys are charging 25 pounds. So that's some serious con right there. For 25 dollars, that should be something like 20 quid or something like that. So, for those of you coming down here, you need to watch out where you pay. If you come to the official counter, the official booth, and pay for your visa there, don't go to some food store. Just standing there calling you here and there. But they'll just give you 25 quid. When anything is actually 25 dollars. I'm just here in the queue now, waiting to see what happens. They said I can pay equivalent of pounds. So, yeah. There you have it. My visa is here. $25. I paid 20 quid for it. Yeah, that guy was going to get 20 quid off me for that. But I've just paid 20 quid. He wanted to get 25 quid off me, I mean, for that. I've just paid 20 quid and he stamped, stamped and that's it. I'm sorted. See, that was a whole five quid they was going to steal from me. The airports. What are those guys over there? One of them want to steal the money. So that guy, uh, this guy, the one who tried to scam me. This one. This one here. The one who is, the one that's pointing out, the one that is talking now. Yeah, he's the one who tried to sell me visa for twenty-five pounds when it is just twenty-five, twenty quid. Customs guy has took my passports. I meant to search me, but hasn't searched my bag yet. And he says that's a way. Okay, he's coming back now. Let's see if he's gonna do this. Right, my people, so I've arrived now in Bogada. I'm in, just coming out of the airport. It's warm, which is great. Um, I'm just in the Uber now. It's easier to get Uber here. It's really good. You just if you have the Uber app, you can literally just book as soon as you get out of the airport. Obviously, if you have internet and you can connect, so that's the lovely driver driving me. Um, yeah, we are now on the motorway heading to the hotel. But it's really, really cool to arrive and then just get Uber and just go. It's really cool. Yeah. Yes, your boy is in town. Boys in the city. So I'm looking forward to chilling tonight and tomorrow, and then we head off to Cairo to go to the pyramids, etc. So I see you there. I hope you guys are okay. Merry Christmas in advance to every one of you. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Okay, and click like on this video and share. And also share ideas. But that was cool to just come out of the airport and then grab, you know. But, but uh, of course, I had to get a new SIM card, which is quick. The guy said to me, oh, wait 20 minutes. I said, no, I can't wait. I need to grab Uber. Anyway, so he fixed it. My like, SIM was working, internet was working. Uber, I'm heading now to the hotel. Really cool. It's 
easy life, man. You don't have to wait for ferry and nothing like that. So that's brilliant. Okay, so I'll update you as I go along. Man, the traffic, man. Welcome to Africa, isn't it? So the traffic and the way everybody drives. I sometimes forget, you know, that I'm in Africa, you know, when you get here, until you know, when you see how people are driving and you realize what's going on here, you know, okay, I'm in Africa. <laughs> There's no lean discipline. Everybody just doing their thing. Like, oh my God, it's, it's amazing. You know what I mean? Like, look at that big truck in front of us. The good thing is he has enough lights. At least you can see that there's a truck right there. See, there's enough lights behind it. So at least you can see that. We're just interested how it's driving in the middle of the road, the middle lane, you know, just like that. People are switching lanes, you know what I mean? It's amazing. But I like the fact that you can just drive actually tar properly, smooth, you know, street lights. It's really cool, really. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's going too close to the vehicle. Oh, another traffic. Only concern is the back. Uh, Back seat belt is not working, there's no clip to clip there at the back. So I don't know what's so. up. There you go, there's traffic. Traffic! Maybe this is the wrong time to come here and travel in the evening to drive on this road, isn't it? It's rush hour, I guess. Right, folks, don't forget to subscribe to this channel now. That's it.